our national officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Ryan Vincent Corpus. Second referee, Mr. Philip Rica Huerta. Let's welcome our starters from our NU Santa Elena Nationals. Let's begin with our team captain who wear jersey number 13, Ave Joshua Retamar. At number one, Angelo Nicolas Almendras. Wearing jersey number six, Micaelo Budin. At number 10, Obed Mukaba. Number 12, Renzmel Tagibolos. And number 17, Leo Ordiales. Starting libero is number 8, Jan Mariano Sumagi. Head coach, Mr. Dante Alin Sonurin Jr. Calling on our PGJC Navy Sea Lions. Let's begin with our team captain. He wear jersey number 16, Greg Delore. At number 15, Peter Kiel. Wearing jersey number 17, Wilbert Zapida. At number 18, Hoven De La Vega. Seaman First Class. Number 20, Christian Marcelino. Starting libero is number 13, Seaman Second Class, Jack Kalinking. Head coach, Petty Officer 3, Cecil Cruzada. This is match number 64, quarterfinal round. Presenting the starters in the quarterfinals for NU, we have Joshua Retamar and Nico Almendras back in the starting unit with Coach Tante and to join Sumagi, Tagibolos, among others. No? On the other end for PGJC Navy, it's La Vega with Kiel, Marcelino, Dolor, Sapida, Suarez, and Kalinking for Coach Cecil Cruzada. This is basically do or die. If you win, you advance to the semifinals, joining teams like Perpetual, Signal and Letran, and also our Japanese team that is Maruichi Yogo beginning this Wednesday. We'll be changing venues, by the way, for those of you who don't know. So Wednesday, we'll stay here inside the Paco Arena. Then Friday, we proceed to the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, and on December 15 for the finals, we'll then transfer to the Phil Sports Arena. Well, let me check that. December 15, the finals back to the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. But now, Jos, as we begin our coverage, no, we have to talk about this starting unit by NU Santa Elena. Of course, Almendras and Retamar have returned, but they have Leo Ordiales beginning from the opposite side in this game. That is a testament, of course, to the health of their, uh, or one of their veterans, that's Leo Ringo, who has had an injured shoulder for quite a while now. As now, it's a good start for PGJC Navy. That's right, no? Talagang, kahit papano naman, kahit medyo may minsan may mawawala sa team mo. Kung prepared talaga yung team mo, baga napaghandaan yung mga injury na yan, kung sino man yung papalit, dapat ready, ready pumalit. By the way, Leo Ordiales is still in high school. Just so everybody <laughs> knows. He's that young, he's that promising. There he is, working alongside Peng Tagibolos and Buds Budin. They have Nico Almendras, who has been in and out of the lineup because of some emergencies back in Batangas. Just served the ball straight to an attack by Joven de la Vega. And then there's the counter for NU. Speaking of Ordiales, antangkad din talaga, no? Mm -hmm. Sobrang tangkad din ito sa Ordiales. Ibabaw na ibabaw yung palo niya. Targeting that end line of Navy. So we're back with Nico Almendras. Two straight points for NU to counter the start of PGJC Navy. Suarez goes to the quick. That is long on the hit by Peter Kiel. Too wide for Peter Kiel. Actually, sa din si Kiel nakasama nitong si De La Vega at ni Kalinking sa military enlistment last uh, 2022. Nagsimula sila December 2022 up to July 2023. So, inabot daw. 
ng seven months. Sabi ni Jackali King, dapat six months lang. Wow, napahaba, napahaba pa. Napahaba daw. That's six months of pure dedication to the Navy. No volleyball? No volleyball. Zero volleyball talaga. Kaya paglabas na talaga medyo namayat ng konti. Oo, oh, bawi ka sa pagkain. But the good thing is, they accompany their eating with carrying weights. That's why you can see their bodies still in good shape. At mukha nga nag-bulk up pa, no? Yung iba sa mga players ng PGJC Navy. It's now four serving three. Here's Peng Tagibolos, who was supposed to play for Arellano University, but not as a volleyball player, rather as a basketball player. Point here for Greg Delore. But Greg Delore there. <laughs> Sa din sa mga matatas sa malon dito sa men's volleyball. Boy, are we so used to seeing him score for PGJC Navy. But he got some help in the offseason with Camposano's arrival. So sila nagpapalitan sa starting unit. Tama ba? Right. Tough save there by Navy. The Lord will send it through. Chance ball and new. Sumagi will go to Ordiales, just towering over the defenders of Navy. But was there a violation made by Leo? Looks like the answer is no. It is a point. Nagtatanuan kung crossing, kaya lang yung pagtapak niya, nandito na sa labas ng linya. So no crossing violation for NU. Nice start for Leo Ordiales. Sharp serve there, straight to Chaka Linking, who's number one in the league in receiving, by the way. Suarez, pipe, that's Marcelino. Ball returned. Another chance for Navy. They open up. Delore going cross. Sumagi keeping it alive. Pushed by Nico. Navy to counter. What a block. That's Budin and Mukhaba working together. That's right. And you number one in the blocking as a team. Kitang kita natin. Na abangan natin talaga nila. Sikiel. Krabe. Karapu ba naman Mukhaba and Budin. Ang tataas din ng switch. Let's round them up individually. In terms of blocks, Budin is number six in the league and Mukaba is number seven. As now it is a service error coming in from Leo Ordiales. Coach Dante Elinsonurin is back with NU. Gotta give props to him for what he has done, not only with this NU program, but with the Choco Mucho program That's as well. Right. Ooh, service error on the other end. It's now seven serving five. Our former, former finals MVP, Boots Budin, will be doing the honors. He's the top scorer of NU in this season with 76 points approaching the quarterfinals. He's number seven in the league in that category. But he just made another mistake on the service line. So it's now consecutive. Service errors, yes. That's right. Not the pressure. Na kinakarap ni tong dalawang teams sa tano. It's a do or die battle talaga. Gusto nila lang mag move on to the semifinals. Earlier today, we witnessed the fall of Chef on a Diet FBU. Today featured their first loss of the conference, but they're out. As we just saw another attack point coming from the opposite angle, which means it belongs to Leo Ordiales. Eight to six. versus the Navy here in the Spiker Turf Invitational Conference. Mix and yours, it's the Navy's third straight quarterfinals appearance in the Spiker Turf. And Coach Cecil says that the team is quite done with being the bridesmaid and never the bride. They want to make it all the way to the championship game this time around. On the side of NU, their past two tournaments have been a heartbreak for them, falling short of the podium both times. Kaya naman being here in the quarterfinals is a chance for the team to end their preseason on a good note. Meanwhile, Coach Dante shared that Oar Tamar is still not 100% today in line with his left leg injury while Leo Aringo will still be sitting this game out because of his shoulder injury. Gentlemen? Alright, so Owa, not 
to give you the number, no, Coach Dante did tell us 80 to 90 percent for uh, Oa Retamar. And um, this is a guy who's had an open communication with Coach Dante throughout the weeks past, no, because you know, matalagang kailangan. If you're a coach, you have to know how your player is feeling, and if you're a player, you also can't hide your physical condition to your coach. Especially for a guy who's preparing for the UAAP. That's right. No, talaga ang pagkamay mga konting iniinda. Hindi mo pwedeng basa-basa sa itagyo kasi yung mga malilit na injury niya, pwedeng lumaki yan eventually pag talagang hinayaan mo lang. Well, NU is off to a good start here. Nine serving six. Served by Bukaba. Received by Toto. And here's Marcelino going down the line. Ball up by NU. Almendras will send it to the back. Suarez recalculates. Marcelino goes cross. What a spike there by Marcelino. Kita natin na medyo binubukahan itong uh, Navy yung mga sets sila. Kasi kapag kadikit nila, talagang abot na abot din talaga ng blocking si itong NU. Kaya naman on that play, nakalusot itong Navy. Oh, and Suarez now serves. They're down by two. Received by Almendras. Tic-tac-toe. Yes, sir. Pero sa si NU, no, walang problema. Kahit medyo idikit itong set, medyo na late doon ang block nitong si De La Vega at si Kiel. Now, what Nico Almendras did is basically the ideal example for the young attackers of NU, no? like Butch Budin and uh, Jay Disquetado. Reception is such a big thing. And if you're playing for NU, you can't just hit it You have to be able to do everything under the discipline of Coach Dante. As we just saw a point for Navy. That's right. No? Very important talaga yung first ball. Na, ayun nga yung naging problema so far nitong NU. Pero so far, no? medyo maganda ang first ball ngayon ng NU. Maganda rin. Ang palo doon ni Christian Marcelino. The combination play as he now serves. 8 to 10. That's long. Back with Nico Almendras. On his last playing year for the NU Bulldogs. Serve goes straight to the best receiver in the league. De La Vega challenging two blockers. De La Vega with an off the block hit. Tinaragit niya dun yung uh, braso nitong si Budin papalabas. Ito Kiel. Now serves, 9 to 11, a lot of back and forth here. Did you expect anything less? Mukhang ayaw ko ma-jinx, pero tignan na lang natin. Ordiales just towering again over the defenders of Navy. Wow, the spike reach of Ordiales. Kita-kita dito natin sa harap, parang abot niya yung antena sa palo niya na yun. By the way, he used to be a middle blocker, but... He has recently transitioned into being an opposite spiker, not only for NU, but the national team as well. Kalinking, sorry, that's De La Vega who tried to score. Ordiales tried to go for target practice there. We haven't had a challenge, by the way, which was a common theme in the first three games today. Wow, malilinis yung puntos kaya mga wala pa challenge so far. So that means good job to our referees, our linesmen. Served by Toto. Retamar opens up. Pudin against two blockers was successful. The middle blocker of uh, Navy. Let's take a look at that. You play. Medyo na late. Medyo buka. Pagkakablock niya doon. It's now 13 serving 10. Leo Ordiales. Doing the honors. Sharp serve. Kalinking got to receive. The oh. lower. Low there. Gigil ba yun? Medyo mababa. Yung set doon ni Suarez. That combination on that combination play. Kaya naman uh, nakaredy na sanang ibaon ni Dolor yung palo. <laughs> Medyo mababa lang. Konti. Uh, you saw the disappointment in the face of Greg Dolor after that sequence. So we're back with Leo Ordiales. Jump serve. Straight to Kaling King. Boy, Jack is just so good with his receptions. And it leads onto a point for Navy. 
That's right. Ang lakas ng serve na yun ni Ordiales. Pero... Hindi mo ang nagbukang easy ball. Yeah. For Jackalin King. Yung no? Jackalin King, no? isang one of the, our best liberos in the Philippines. Well, he was the libero in that 2019 SEA Games team, right? That's right. Alongside Ricky Marcos. Shout out to Ricky Marcos, by the way. We miss you. Dolor from the back. Violation made. Illegal back row attack. Mukhang hindi yung sinalins ng uh, Navy. Let's see. Did he step on the line? Yes, he did. Yes. Good eyes for our referees. 15-11. Ball up, Marcelino with a nice approach, scramble here, and a chance ball, Kaling King, Suarez, Marcelino, rejected, nice coverage, De La Vega will send it through, and that's a point for Navy. What a rally, grabe yung rally na nakita natin doon, no? mga angatan ng bola. Kaya nga lang, nagkaroon ng violation doon ng NU. Uh, I think that was a lifting violation. And can you feel the intensity in every movement? That's right. No? It's a do or die talaga. Oh. Talaga maramdam na ramdam mo <laughs> dito sa Paco Arena. <laughs> Literal na, this is where power meets passion as it's Buds Budin who just scored for NU in that previous sequence. 16 to 12 in an electrifying start for this matchup. Well, this conference was supposed to be his turn. Talking about Leo Aringo, and he did deliver, at least for the early part of the pool play. Unfortunately, he just got injured with his shoulder recently. That's right, no? Now, I was talking about it earlier. injury in the game against Huey on the PNVF. Yeah, no, number two in spiking, itong si Leo. Pero, ayun yan, ayun pumalit sa kanya so far. Si Ordiales, medyo maganda rin talaga yung pinapakita. So let's see, kung ano yung kumakabalik pa siya on their next game. They're gonna have to win first. Again, this is do or die. Winner go home. Pretty unique to have a tournament format, no? As Obed Mukaba makes a mistake from the service line. To have a tournament format wherein the quarterfinals is so special. Kasi balik tayo round robin sa semis, eh. That's right, no? Talagang after that, uh, Elimination na uh, top two teams na lang ang kukunin. Out of, imagine, out of 24 teams, right? Taking eight. And then after that, eight na very, ayun nga, sabi mo, talagang very important match itong uh, quarterfinals. Kasi itong, after this quarterfinals, talagang sila na yung proceed on that semifinals. Mm -hmm. There's one slot remaining after the advancements of Perpetual Signal and Netran. Off of the point by Penta Gibolos. It's a service error made by Owar Tamar on his return. As Doreen mentioned, Owar is still not 100%. He's had a problem with his LCL. Gilid ng tuhod niya, no? And it, it extends all the way down to near his foot. As Marcelino made an error on the other end. Again, no, palitan ng service error itong uh, NU and Navy. Side out, side out. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> when I found out about that ruling before, I was so fascinated. Kasi hindi umaarangkada ang score unless you score, you score with your service, right? That's right. So, yeah, two straight points dapat. Oh, oh. Ball up here for Navy. De La Vega finds an opening. What an adjustment there by Joven De La Vega. 
Kaya nakita niya yung butas doon sa gilid ni Budin. How about Joven de la Vega, number 10 in the league and scoring 72 points in our pool play. By the way, in the pool play, our teams only played five games. Ooh! Sharp hit. Too strong, though, from Leo Ordiales. What a sharp hit by Ordiales. <laughs> Kaya lang lumabas, no? There's a, may lola actually dun, eh. Nakatayo, kung nakikita mo. Buti na lang malayo sa kanya yung bola, no? Buti lang nakailag. <laughs> Service for Peter Kiel, that's long. Service errors are now piling up. That's right, and ayun naman yung ayaw natin, no? Nung magkocommit ka ng error, pag medyo lumalapit na sa end ng set. Here's Peng Tagibolos. Sharp serve, straight to Jack. Suarez opens up. Dolor elevating and scoring on that play. But a uh, net touch is called on NU. So either way, it's a point for Navy. That's right. Yeah, Padon checking in alongside Villanueva. That's Marvin Villanueva alongside the other setter from FEU. So sabayan, no? Sina Padon, sina Suarez. May isa pa. Uh, Silang. Uh, yeah, Chris Silang. Uh, si Yan Silang, that's right. From FEU. FEU. And also Peter Kiel from FEU. Mm -hmm. But the three prior names are all setters from the FEU program. There's a setup to Delor. Isn't Greg Delor also from FEU? Uh, that's right. Greg Delor also from FEU. It's Marvin Villanueva who puts that ball away. Medyo na karoon ng changes doon, no? Kasi kaliwete naman. Yung binablock dito ng NU. And he's yeah. perfect at the opposite. That's right. That's Tarik. off of the hands of Budin. That's right. Medyo hindi masyadong nai-adjust ni Budin yung kamay niya doon. Kaya tumama yung bola. 18-19. Budin for retribution. Pinabawi agad. Ito si Budin. And now... Navy, down by two points as we take a look on that replay, no? Adjust din, talaga kung adjust itong si Budin. It's the second year of Boots Budin receiving those sets of Owala Tamar. Receive again by Jack. Perfect, perfect. Grabe, so far, no? So, si Jack Kalingking. Ibang klase yung receives, no? Ibang receive dito si Jack Kalingking so far. And it's not like the serves are light. That's right. Ang hirap receive doon, either jump serve or float. Ang bibigat eh. Rinig na rinig mo dito sa Paco Arena. Very steady. Libero ito si Jacqueline King. Nice receive there by Almendras and the counter by Ovid Mukaba. But what a spike there by Ovid Mukaba. Talagang side out kung side out. Yeah. Talagang labanan ngayon. Boy, can you feel the energy inside the Paco Arena? You gotta love it. This is only set number one. Puts within. Jack again with the receive. Back set to Marvin Villanueva. What a play there by Navy. Ang ganda ng combination play na yun. Akala dito ng Enyo. Iikot sa gitna itong uh, si Villanueva. It's now 20, serving 21. Hairami checks in to serve for Coach Cecil. This is a big one. A chance to tie for the white shirts. As I say that, it's an error. And, and again, those errors, no, na nagagaling sa service. Sayang kasi talagang chance nila to tie this game. Now it's Jam Jam Abanilla's turn to serve for NU. He used to be the starting opposite spiker ahead of Leo Ordiales behind Leo Ringo. Set up Marcelino from the middle. Nice tip. 
A good read there by Marcelino. Kita niya, no? tatlo yung blockers. As we take a look on that replay, tatlo yung sumabay. Nilagay lang. Nilagay lang sa gitna. Budin, medyo hindi ready on that defense. Double sub. Owen Suarez and Joven Toto de la Vega return. Twenty-one serving twenty-two. This is another chance for PGJC Navy to tie the ball game up. As mentioned by Doreen, they do not want to be bridesmaids anymore. Nice block. Deadlock at twenty-two. What a block there by Navy. Hey, kanina, no? Hindi lang ma-block yung mga open spikes itong NU. And what a time for them to block Almendras. And Nico Almendras is usually creative with his attacks. That's right, no? Kita natin yung mga palo kanina ni Almendras. Mahaba. Ang bawi. There you go. And medyo na late naman doon si Peter Kiel. And good thing for Retaman. No? Pinabawi agad yeah. ito si Almendras. Doesn't he have that reputation itong si Owa na pinapabawi talaga ang teammates niya? That's right. No? Talagang pagka nagkaroon ng error or hindi nakapunto sa gan. <laughs> pero <laughs> Joven de la Vega targeting that zone one of Enyo. Kita-kita natin ang let nung dinaanan doon. No? Sa blocker and antena itong Enyo. 23 all. This is only the beginning for Navy versus NU. Christian Marcelino serves. That goes straight to Boots Budin. Retamar opens up. Ordiales will send it long. Manu Subagi is asking for a challenge. It looks like Coach Dante will give it to him. Block touch. This is the first challenge for this game. That's right. Uh, based on the body language naman itong Navy, parang hindi natin sure kung meron o wala. Kasi minsan, yeah. sabi niya may check eh. Parang, oh. meron, parang, ngayon, parang walang angal eh. Baka, tignan natin. I don't know if it's just the quarterfinals where everybody's trying to hide everything. <laughs> but we'll let our referees decide and of course our challenge system to be used as well. Challenges have been a theme for today because this is a do or die Sunday for the Spikers they're following the victories of Perpetual, Signal and Letran so either Navy or NU will join them for a round robin in the semis, there was a touch and now we're seeing the face of Joven de la Vega he's laughing <laughs> he tried to hide it all this time and a lucky point for Ardialis <laughs> Usually, mga bakulod nun, mga kalmado yan, very sweet people, and you see that sweet laughter from Joben. Boss, sino gitna mo? Bigel. Di big pick mo, pasok mo to dress, duwa mo to sing to, may totok ka, bigay mo sing to. Lipit natin, lipit natin to isang blanker nila dito. Iwan mo, may totok ka. Isang good receive lang tayo, patay tayo sa tayo. Go. Sige, one yung isang pre. Sige, sige, sige. Cover, cover, It's now 24 serving 23 as we take a look at the passionate crowd inside the Paco Arena for their tour die Sunday in the Spikers turf. Before we proceed to Wednesday's action here, then again, Pillow and Echo Oil Center Putai for Friday and Phil Sports Arena for Saturday, Monday, and Tuesday. Here's Nico Almendra serving for the set. Ball straight to the lower. Suarez back sets. De La Vega sends it long. Are they going to challenge it? Looks like they will. Might as well. Either way, you can't carry over your challenge from the first set to the second set. That's right. Talagang sabi naman ni Budin, wala daw. Yeah. So, we will see. You know, we've actually had some challenges before na suntok sa buwan. And yet, it worked. That's right. Kasi, minsan, akala mo wala talaga. But, 
you have to take that risk kasi nga minsan parang any break mo eh, to break yeah. the momentum of your opponent. I remember covering a game, match point na. Panalo na, there's no block touch there. Panalo na, sinalage ng kalaban. Nang, alam nilang unsuccessful. And then it became successful. Eventually, they won the game. That's right. Parang naalala ko yung sinasabi mo rin. Parang ibang league, no? Sa ibang league. It was in the UAAP. Ah, UAAP. Okay. UAAP. All right. So, for set number one, the score is 25 to 23 in favor of Santa Elena. Santa Elena and you. It was a very tight set number one. The score 25 to 23 in favor of Santa Elena National University against PGJC Navy. Ordiales, that's Leo Ordiales. He started off very well in this game. Then we had some answers from the side of Greg Dolor and company. Ultimately, at the end, we thought that the set was going to extend, though, much like the other sets that we have witnessed today, but Enyu was able to escape. That's right. Yung mga errors lang na nag-commit na nila towards the end of the set, yun lang talaga yung nagkaroon. Doon tayo nagkaroon malaking factor talagang naiwan na ang uh, Navy. Although hindi ganun kalayo yung attacks nila, no? Uh, so far kasi gumagana ang receive nitong uh, Enyu. Kaya gumagana ang atake nila with 13 points only with uh, 12. And sa block naman, tayo lang tayo with one apiece and uh, no service aces so far. Kasi nga, me medyo solid ang receiving ng both teams. And opponent's error, hindi rin ganun nagkakalayo. Kaya nga lang, nangyari yung mga errors dun sa mga service errors. But those errors naman na sa atake nangyari dun sa end ng set. Would you say that the services have been high risk, high reward? Of course, lagi namang high risk kasi pagka talaga po kapasok, nakaka-ace. Kaya nga lang itong uh, NU, hindi maka-ace kanina kahit ganong kalakas ng mga mm -hmm. service nila. No? Very steady ang receiving nitong si Jacqueline King. It's not every day that we get to be highly impressed with the libero, no? Ganun siya kagaling. That's right. <laughs> Ganun kahirap yung mga serve na binigay sa kanya in set number one. So now, PGJC Navy will look for retribution in the second set of their matchup versus NU in the quarterfinals. There's one last seat remaining for the semis. Perpetual, Signal, Letran, and Mariucci or Maruichi Yogo are all waiting for their round robin in the semis before we proceed to the finals on December 15 inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center.
It has been a nice day for Philippine volleyball. Even though we've had straight sets for all of the first three games today, they were all tight, right? That's right. Ligang uh, quarterfinals, talaga ang quarterfinals. The pattern did continue, at least with the first set of this match. Or oh, Tomar goes to Pengda Gibolos. First referee is saying that there was a check. And it looks like Rick Dolor did admit to it. Here's Nico Almendras. His serve goes in. Straight to Joven. Not the best of receives. Marcelino with the off-speed hit. Recovery here for Owen. Back to Christian. Scramble for NU. Here's Boots with the approach. Going down the line. Kalinking chases. Now to the open. Pushed by Joven. Net touch? Or was it a cross? Net touch. The referee but... Maybe Mong, it's a challenge. Yun. Joven de la Vega was so sure that he didn't commit a violation. Ang tawag niya yung NU daw, ang uh, ang net touch. Ang net touch. Okay. So, as opposed to set number one, where in the first challenge came at the latter part of the set, here we are. Well, na carry on yung momentum of challenges, no? From the end of set one. We're trying to overhear the conversation of our uh, referees at the sideline. It's usually very interesting. We'll get the replay later on. And it looks like, it looks like the Bakulud Nun had a point. But the thing is, if the challenge is successful, will you reward the point to Navy? Uh, we'll see. It's there either, you go. There's uh, the net right. touch it's by Navy's NU. point. So you're not going to replay it. It's going to be Navy's point. Oh! Yeah, the first referee, did he make a mistake? <laughs> Coach Essen is in shock. As is everybody else inside the Paco Arena. One point is that crucial for our quarterfinals action. Let the referees clear it out amongst themselves. Of course, the tension. <laughs> The pressure, talaga. Minsan no maabot sa referee, no? Kasi minsan masisisi ka talaga. Pagka na wrong call ka. Yan na dating may tama nila. And ayan din natin mag-enjoy yung mga fans natin. We're getting some screen time. All right. First referee will now call it. It's a point for PGJC Navy. That's a good challenge by Joven de la Vega. But remember, all one palang tayo. Yeah. <laughs> Jump serve for Christian Marcelino. Straight to Woods. Back set. Orgales against two blockers. And that's an early Christmas gift for Peng Tagibolos. Yung kailangan, bigyan ng chance ball. So, uh, Navy, sabi ni Tagibolos. And good read there. Nagibolos now serves the former BNS player. Open hit. Greg Delore answers back. Yeah. And a good spike there by uh, Greg Delore. But still, no, talaga medyo binubuka pa rin nila yung set nila. Para hindi masadong malapit sa kamay ng blockers itong NU. Pag uh, sinasabi mong binubuka yung set as now Mukaba scores for NU, can you explain it further for our fans watching? 
Uh, usually kasi, no, pag set sa mga open or sa opposite, medyo malapit sa net yung mga sets. Para it's usually babaon talaga ng mga open spikers yan or gagawa ng parat. Pero so far, no, sa mga nakikita kong sets dito ni Suarez, pagpunta kay uh, Greg Dolor sa open, medyo malayo ng konti sa net. So para medyo malayo sa kamay ng blockers itong NU. So does that give more room for adjustment for the attackers? Ganun ba nangyayari? That's right. Mas mas may chance kang mas makalusot sa blockers itong number one blocking team, yeah. which is NU. By the way, Mukaba. So too much daylight there and he absolutely touched the net. No further questions. Strong serve. What a serve. And it's gonna be an ace. Was that Joven de la Vega? That's right, that was Joven de la Vega on that service area. It was so sharp. Let's see if he can do it again. Here comes the former player of University of St. LaSalle. Another nice serve, push, chased by Oa. And it's Buds Budin who will find the back row. What a spike there by Budin. Pinadaan niya doon sa mas malit na blocker nitong uh, Navy, si Suarez. For all, bit of a back and forth happening in set two. Butch Budin, the product of Puerto Princesa. Strong serve, tough receive by Jack. Here's Joven, low there. Ganun ang trajectory ng bola. Sobra pa sa follow-through yun. Medyo mababa yung kuha doon ni Joven de la Vega. Medyo mat mataas na kasi yung set talaga, no? So medyo mababa yung pagkakapush niya doon ng off-speed. So it's more of the contact kung kailan natanggap yung bola. That's right. Yung contact niya doon, medyo hindi niya nahawakan yung bola. Kaya hindi umangat sa net. Challenge here for NU. After the previous sequence, this coach Jesse Lopez, a legendary setter in Philippine volleyball. He was that guy who sent the ball to Brian Bagunas in 2019, leading on to our finals appearance in the Southeast Asian Games. That was a set that came from one corner to the other. Remember that? Underhanded pa yun. Ikaw ba may Jesse Lopez stories ka ba? Did you watch him when you were young? Did you play with him? Bakit ka ba kay Jesse Lopez? There was actually a time nung... Oh my goodness! Second, ba't wala pa ako sa UST na to? Okay. Basta sa ibang school kasi transfer lang ako sa UST. So I used to play for PCU, Philippine Christian University in Manila. So I was a middle blocker actually that time. So nakaharap namin sila university games. So if you're familiar with the university games, battle of nationwide schools. So Bacolod, Bacolod. Actually Bacolod, yeah. Yeah, that's a USLS. Yes. Oh, so naglaban kami ng championship. So that that time kami ng champion ng NCA and then silang champion ng UAP. So nagabot kami. So yon. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. My partner actually played with Jesse Lopez. By the way, Jesse Lopez is still in good shape. Ah, just so everybody knows. That's right. Na pag laro pa sa, niko rin naman. <laughs> All right, the referees are making sure that this challenge will be done right. Hey, si Coach Dante. Hey. Ano? Hindi naman na. Hindi naman. I mean, uh, rookie, uh, there, uh, ano na ako nun, uh, there was a time, nakikita ko na lang sila. Uh, national okay. team naman na siya nun. Hindi naman na college. <laughs> There's Coach Dante. That's right. <laughs> Nasal ko sa bingo, former opponent of Jesse Oso. Hindi pala, Coach Jesse Lopez lang. Magandang Jesse Lopez lang. That's our fun fact for today, by the way, as we wait for this challenge. This is set number two between NU and PGJC Navy. All right. Block touch. The answer is no, but there was a net touch. By Oa Retamar. So it's going to be a point for Navy. 
That's right. Mukhang binalaban ni Oare Tamar so, na wala daw. Kaya lang nga, baka hindi. Kasi minsan di mo nararamdaman yung tama yeah. ng net yeah, yeah, yeah. sa kamay mo pag bumabla ka. Okay. So we shall proceed with an unsuccessful challenge for Coach Dante Elinsunurin who did not play with Dios Yoson back in his day. Okay. Now, this actually makes sense, no? Coach Dante is trying to plead the case that they challenge something else. Because the call is, is not in the challenge, eh. Block touch in challenge. Pero net touch yung naging violation. Okay. So, parang ano, parang na-void yung challenge. Ganun yung nangyari ba? Parang ganun, no? Kasi kanina yung tawag yata ng referee was... Uh, Net touch or block touch. Block touch. Block touch. Tama. So that means, hindi mo babawasan ng challenge si Coach Dante Elinsunurin. We shall proceed. Five ball in set two. Leo Ordiales will score. Parang wala nang yare, no? Parang hindi tayo huminto on that challenge and that backline attack of Ordiales. Surprising and new uh, Navy's blocker. Walang subabay sa kanya on that day. What a game he has played, by the way, to si Leo Ordialis. The fact that he hasn't been subbed out by Jam Jam Abanilla, that's a testament to his high level for today. Almendras going cross. What a dig by Marcelino and his Christian. The off speed hit and the miscommunication error. <laughs> Nagulat ang mga tao. Medyo napahinto kasi doon itong uh, NU. Kaya lang kasi nga, no, yung sa block kanina, hindi sila medyo nakamove on agad. So, nagkaroon ng miscommunication <laughs> on that uh, off-speed hit by Marcelino. Uh, you saw the smile coming out of the face of Christian. Six all. One, two. Oh, I could not score. Nice recovery for Navy. There's the block and the chase. Chance ball, National University. Sumagi, Retamar, combination. And it's a back row hit for Boots Budin. What a target there by Boots Budin. Kitang ita niya, walang tao doon sa zone one itong uh, Navy. Foot foot, ang it's a challenge ng PGJC Navy. Sobrang bilis, no? Talaga, minsan di natin nakikita. Yes. Oh, that's why we have a lot of referees present during the games. Because for us commentators, we tend to be fans from time to time. Just enjoying the action, calling it as we see it. We leave the rest of the eyes to our officials. So the challenges are piled up here in set two. Yeah, that's a legal play. No footfall for Mikaelo Boots Budin. So na bati mo yung mga challenge na wala kanina sa start ng <laughs> set hi. one ngayon naman. Medyo nakakadami na agad <laughs> sa set two. Pasensya na po sa mga may dinner plans, no? Mga kailangan madelay ng onte. Suarez will open up. Marcelino was rejected. Recovery for Navy. Lefty tip, and it works. Good adjustment there by Marcelino. Medyo mababa na doon yung set, no? Medyo malilate siya ng konti. Kaya naman, nung tinulok niya yung bola, hindi handa doon si Almendras. Might I say, this guy has grown a lot on uh, the club stage here in the Spikers turf. Christian Marcelino, once upon a time, as he gets the block against Nico Alvendras, he once upon a time was the team captain of MRT Negros. To Gian Salarzon, to Leo Ordiales in the PNBF Champions League. Now he has transitioned to being a part of this veteran savvy team, 8-7.
Pinakamabait. Para sa akin si ano, Joshua Retamar. Super humble, super mainhin magsalita. Every time na kinakausap ka niya talagang. And super matured. Galante. Joshua Retamar. Galante si Joshua Retamar. Sa totoo lang. Humble lang talaga ang taong yun. Clarence Berostrino. Setter namin. <laughs> Pasaway po talaga yun. Ako yun, syempre. Mapagmahal. Lahat naman kami mapagmahal talaga. Mapagmahal sa pamilya. Ayan. Back here in the Spikers Turf Invitational Conference, Boots Budin will be playing his second season with NU in the upcoming UAAP season. At kwento ni Boots, dahil nga medyo naging masakit yung resulta ng tournaments nila in the past few months, he is really aiming for that podium finish here in the Spikers Turf before they start their title defense campaign in the UAAP. Now, even as a sophomore, Boots is already maximizing his time learning from Owar Tamar and Nico Almendras before they graduate. Sabi ni Boots, ina-absorb niya lang daw lahat para when his seniors leave, he will be ready to step up and to be the guiding senior man for the next generation of NU players. Back to you guys. That's a nice report because leadership is going to be a big thing for NU once those two players depart. We got a preview. Basically, when Owa and Nico were away for a couple of games, right, in the Challenge Cup here in the Spikers turf as well, obviously it's still too early. Sabi nga ni Durino, they're still taking their time learning from their seniors, but I ask you, Yos, are you actually concerned for NU once the two veterans leave? Actually, no, knowing NU, even uh, nawala yung mga seniors nila dati, based on, uh, kunyari, si uh, Bagunas, yeah. medyo napapaghahandaan pa rin talaga nila eh. So, talagang it's all about the preparation and yung talagang dedication ng mga student athlete natin talaga ang malalaman natin eventually. Well, one thing's for sure, they have the talent. That's right. Bit of a scramble here. De La Vega approaches and he's able to check that ball out. An off speed hit by Joven De La Vega. Yang di talaga kailangan lagging malalakas yung palo eh. Yeah. Tamang discarte lang. And you will get a hug from Peter Kiel when you score a point. So far, no? Joven De La Vega, six points na. Nice to see Boots Budin going cross. That's wide. Budin with uh, five points, but yeah, an attack error on the side. Sayang, no, kasi isa na lang yung blocker niya doon. Medyo nang gigil ito si Budin. It's now 11 serving eight. Christian Marcelino straight to the corner. Marcelino on his seventh point. Making it look like target practice. Five attacks, one block, and an ace yeah. for Marcelino. Another sharp serve. Nice receive, though. Budin had to send it down to no avail. Boots again approaches. Yan ang kanyang pambawi. Budin finding the hands of Joven De La Vega. Bawing bawi agad. Yeah. Well, he did make two straight mistakes. Served by Tagibolos. There's the setup. The lower low on his hit. Medyo malayo yung uh, sharp angle sana doon ni Dolor. Pero yung may sinasabi mong nakabuka yung set? Medyo mas bumuka na doon eh. On that play, medyo malayo na eh. Masyado nang medyo buka. Ma medyo <laughs> papunta na doon on that side. Okay. But at least they get some revenge. Talking about PGJC Navy. Scoring in that last sequence was Greg Dolor himself. That's right, pinabawi naman ito si Suarez si Dolor. 13 to 10, Peter Kiel sends it to Boots. Ooh, Obed Bukaba. What a spike there by Bukaba. And also, no, the ball distribution din talaga ito si Retamar. What makes Oa Retamar different as a setter for you? Uh, bukod sa height niya, no? sa height advantage, yung reach niya pag uh, tumatalon, the blockings. Iba din talaga. And yung discarte, and the on cue. Attacking setter din talaga. Ito si Oa Retamar. 
And he already has so much experience under his belt. Talking about international caliber. Together with Jack Aling King, no? No, 2019 Tama. SEA Games. Was Nico Almendras there as well? He was, right? In the national team? I'm not so sure kung kasama sa doon. Kasi meron din ang, may, may reserve pool din yun eh. I remember Jovin De La Vega was also in that pool. So far itong end, you know, second uh, service error on the second set. Pero ang set one, naka-anim na sila. Ito namang Navy, nakakapito na. Service error. But well, that's all in the first set for Navy. Yes. Owa. Going to Ordiales. Leos hit. Sailed long. Uh, wasted opportunity there for uh, Santa Elena. Sayang, medyo bumuka yung palo niya doon. Kasi open block na sana eh. 15 to 12 now. Jovin De La Vega. That's out. So that's the first service error for Navy in the set. That's right. Total of eight so far for Navy. Here's Woods. 13-15. They've been playing catch-up for most of set two. Talking about NU. Nice receive by Jack. He looked so calm. <laughs> yeah, about Jack Alinking playing with the referee there as the ball sailed out. The ball control of Jack Alinking on that serve. 16 13, second technical timeout. Christian Marcelino, as I mentioned, has transitioned very well from being a leader of a young squad back in the bubble league of the Champions League when he was with MRT Negros leading the likes of Leo Ordiales and Gian Salarzon, among others. He has transitioned very well, a couple of conferences now with PGJC Navy and in the preliminaries, you see his numbers. That's right now with 59 points. Uh, 50 spikes, 7 blocks, and 2 aces. So far, no, kahit nasa 24th siya sa best scorers, talagang natutulungan niya itong uh, Navy with his presence on this game. Almendras going cross. Nice dig by Jack. And it's all worth it. Grabe yung uh, sungkit doon ni Jack Alingking. Talagang medyo malapit na. Sa floor, yung palo doon ni Budin, pero abang na abang yun doon ni uh, Jack Alinking. Kaya naman na uh, nakapuntos dito si Joven de la Vega off the block. And it's not like he's just sending the ball upwards, no? He's still able to send it to Owen Suarez. That's right. The ball control. Oh, my goodness. What a hit by Christian Marcelino. And we have a timeout for Coach Dante. May receive naman tayo. Bago tayo ha. Huwag kayo magpag magpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagp
Ngayong second set, nakain ng first set, talagang mas nakakapatay at nakakapatay sila. Kaya naman ngayon, medyo lumalaki na ang lamang dito ng Navy. Oh, well, that was a good answer by Nico Almendras off of the timeout. They trimmed the lead down to five here in set two. This is the battle for the last semi-final slot in our Invitational Conference to join Perpetual, Signal, Letran, and Maruichi Yogo. Attack from the back, ball dug up. And here's Almendras giving up a free ball. Dolor, Suarez to the quick. And that's a point for Navy's Wilbert Sapida. Sapida, no? hindi ganun kat katangkaran as a middle hitter. Pero kita natin, no? talagang nagawa niya ng parang yun, mile shot. Dito sa blockers ng NU. Oh, he does have the vertical leap. Which makes me curious once again. You know, in draft combines, diba usually may sukat doon ng vertical leap. As you get to see a point courtesy of Nico Almendras, it makes me wonder if we would have a drill somewhat like that in the spiker turf, who do you think might get the highest vertical leap? Highest vertical. Ang dami. Ang dami. Ang dami talaga, no? pero so far, no? Of course, height will play a factor. That's right. Pero so far, no, naisip ko, si Dolor, yan. Ta si Dolor. Dolor, oh, Dolor no? taas ng talon. But also, itong si Ordiales, no, yung height. Right. Yung kung pag-usapan din, yung reach ng spike and ng block, medyo mataas itong si Ordiales. We can only wonder, as we continue, that Tamar has 13 excellent sets, by the way. But now, it's a point for Navy. But Suarez there with a one-hand set to Peter Kiel. 20 serving 16. Here's Owen Suarez, the former FEU setter. Float serve to Maris Umagi. Was there a net touch? Wang wala. Just a point for Peng Tagibolos. Yung bola yung tumama dun sa net. Bawian dito ng middle attacks. There you go. It was the ball, and Jack Kalinkin can only do so much. He's human after all. <laughs> Almendra sends that ball. There's the back set. Bit of a miscue on the side of Navy. Budin approaches and pushes. Ball up by Suarez. Kaling King sends it to Marcelino. There's the tip. Nice dig by Gabultos. Cross court hit by Budin. Works. And finally, yung inahanap dito ni Coach Dante na transition na ibigay dito ng uh, NU. But what a save there by the libero of uh, National University. And a uh, cross-court hit by Budin. We have a timeout. The coach says they're up by two. One good receive. It's a bit of a run from the NU side, causing that timeout to be called for PGJC Navy. But can they actually finish out this set with a win? As Abanilla now comes in for Leo Ordiales. I did mention when uh, Leo Ringo went down because of that shoulder injury, initially it was Jam Jam Abanilla was getting the minutes ahead of Leo Ordiales. Here's Nico Almendras, four attack points for him so far. Ball in, Suarez back to Joven. And a good time out there by Navy. Nice seeing it done, Joven de la Vega. For that cross court hit. Medyo kinulang yung abot ng blocker dito ng NU. It's 21 serving 18 now. Christian Marcelino with the honors. Serve straight to Sumagi. Nice receive. Ball dug up. Suarez to Dolor who will push that ball to the back. Metamar recalculates Budin off of the blockers. 
Hindi pa uli ang lahat dito for Santa Elena. Talagang umahabol at umahabol pa rin sila with that off the block hit of Budin. Nineteen serving twenty-one, Mr. Receive. The lore is red. And how about the celebration by Obed Bukaba? What a block there by <laughs> Bukaba. Talaga. Walang papayag at papa basa-basa papayag dito sa set na to. Look at that celebration. It's like he's gathering the energy surrounding him. So that is back sets to Joven. And why not Joven de la Vega with that powerful cross court hit? Ang ganda ng lusot ng bola doon. He's been the answer, no? But, credits pa rin para kay Jack oh, yeah. King with a good reception there. <laughs> Peter Kiel saying nice one as he now serves. Put in, great approach, but a better block. And what a time for Joven de la Vega. The block Budin. This is a guy who came off of his enlistment. He was six months away from volleyball. Actually, seven. Seven Sabi months to Magalpa. Taking seven now. But he, he looks to be in tip top shape. Tough dig. Ooh. <laughs> How about that chase by Owen Suarez? Usually, that's. When you ask the players, though, is this where you draw the line? If there's a when or where, you're going to stop saving the ball. But he went through the chair. He almost crashed onto the fans. Walang bibitao talaga dito. Sa set na to. It's a service error. 24-21 now. And then, then, no? Itong enyo naman. Ang nag-commit ng error. Kung kailan patapos na itong set na to. Double sub, Padon and Villanueva will return. They will try to finish off NU here in set two. They did play well in set number one, at least for their short stint. Here's Padon, sending that ball to Nico Almendras. Here's Mokaba. What a spike by Mokahaba. From block to spike. Grabe, daan ang bola doon. And he doesn't even get the ball a lot of times from Owa. But when he does, he usually has a high efficiency clip. 22, serving 24. Two set points for Navy. Padon. There's the back set and the finish by Greg Delore. We are back to square one. And why not Greg Delore finishing the second set for Navy. And a good decision there by the setter of uh, Navy. There's one last seat available in the semifinals. And for us to determine which team will advance, we'll have to witness the rest of this extended matchup.
In set number one, the score was 25 to 23 in favor of Santa Elena NU. But in set number two, PGJC Navy got its retribution, winning it in a tight one against the men in purple. So, Yos, I ask you, what was the biggest change that you witnessed in the second showing? Uh, the miscommunication, no, kahit mga medyo malilet na errors itong uh, NU, eh kaya lang uh, yung mga errors na nakukumit nila, minsan papatapos na yung set, doon pa sila nag -e error And for Navy naman, no, very steady pa rin talaga yung receiving and yung mga defense na pinakita nila kanina on that second set na naging malaking factor talaga para makagkaroon sila ng counter attack and na makita natin dito sa attacks natin kahit medyo ahead ang Santa Elena with 16 attacks compared to 15 ng Navy with 2 block points apiece and yun nga no, nagkakatalo dun sa service error and yung service ace na nagkaroon itong uh, Navy yung error din na sinasabi ko kanina yun nga na nakomit nitong NU towards the end of that second set Navy had four errors. That's efficient, right? That's right. No, from uh, Karina 11, the first set. Na minimize sila ng dalawa, kaya lang na commit nila towards the end of the second set. Marcelino serves straight to Sumagi. At Tamar with the back set. Ball put up by Christian. Suarez now goes to Joven with the off speed hit. Chase there. Scramble and a chance ball. Suarez will back set. Back to Toto. De La Vega could not score as of yet. Back row hit. That was a push by Boots. And a chance ball on the other end. Dolor, his version of a push. The rally continues. Free ball, Navy. Peter Kiel from the middle. Scramble. Then at the net. Ball tipped over by Enyu. Back set to Jobin. Ball returned, but straight outside. What a rally! <laughs> Medyo nag speechless ako dun sa haba <laughs> ng rally na yun. A great exchange of points there. Well, it was uh, our team's way of saying welcome to set number three. As we're virtually back to square one. That's right, pero 2-0 pa lang yun, ha? Oo. Parang ako yung hiningal dun sa rally na yun. <laughs> Marcelina serves straight to Manu. Ordiales back in the game. Ball put up by Christian. A bit tight there. And that's a net touch. Owen Suarez asking for a challenge. Well, it did seem like he was really being careful with that underhanded set. Medyo pa-over kasi, no? medyo madikit sa net. Mm -hmm. Kaya lang itong si Suarez galing pa sa likod, galing sa depensa. Kaya naman humabol siya doon sa dig na yun. And yung coverage niya, no? yung bola, mukhang bola, yung tumama sa ilalim ng net. And I'm sure a lot of people saw his face. He was so convinced that it was clean. So like set number two, the challenges have come early here in set number three. After all, this is do or die for both NU and Navy who have lost one game each in the pool play. NU Santa Elena lost to Wewe Medina and Army in pool A. By the way, shout out to Wewe Medina. What a performance in this conference. And uh, for PGJC Navy, they lost to Far Eastern University. But FEU, by the way, is out of the tournament. Even though they swept the pool play, because they lost earlier today to Perpetual, they're eliminated. That's right. Ito namang Navy, no? After their loss, first loss against FEU in the elimination round, talagang bumawi against sila, winning all the remaining matches on that elimination round. That's a good way to welcome back a couple of their players. Okay, was there a net touch? Hmm... That was tight. Really tight. The answer is yes. So that's a violation on Owen Suarez. Still, no, kasi minsan hindi mo talaga nararamdaman yung tama ng net sa kamay mo. Either kanina, di ba, si Greg Dolor, either sa block, hindi mo masyadong maramdaman yung yeah. mga tama sa sobrang bilis ng mga bola. So the score now is 1-2. to two. In favor of PGJC Navy, Nico Almendras with seven excellent receptions to his name. Serves. Suarez back sets. Pambawi agad. 
And of course, Joven de la Vega. Talagang uh, hindi hayaan. Basta basta makalayo at makakuha ng momentum itong uh, NU. Are you familiar with the University of St. LaSalle program? Their ah. products, their alumni, hindi masyado. Hindi ko masyadong maalala. Masyado. Eh. Okay, I'm not gonna but put you on the spot anymore. That's right. Pero dun ginagawa dati yung uni games eh. Yeah. Because I was about to ask you, you don't have to answer it anymore. As you get to see this regalo, that's for uh, Wilbert Sapida. I was about to ask you where Joven de la Vega ranks in terms of the all-time greats of University of St. Lasalle. As we just saw a block point for Greg Delore and company. And why not? There are four points. Already, you did tell me at the top of our coverage if you had a favorite for this game, your answer is Navy. is younger team sila. Yeah, and ito namang Navy, although hindi, hindi naman ganun kasing, uh, they're not old. That's right. Yeah, they're not old. <laughs> they're not old, but they're, they're just bit, older yeah, than they're just NU. <laughs> oh, Mr. C. And also the difference, so yung lifestyle ng both teams. Ito namang ngayon, yung student athletes. Tama. Ito, while on the other side, itong Navy. How do we call them? The armies, the navies. Soldiers. <laughs> so Soldiers. <laughs> well, they serve the country. That's why we tip our hats onto them. As Greg Delore gets a check. Walang angal doon ng uh, Santa Elena. Mukhang nag-check talaga. So it's now six serving three. Here's the Bacolod nun, Joven de la Vega. Sharp serve, straight to Boots. Retamar onto the quick. And good decision there by uh, Retamar. Alam niyang mali talaga. Yung middle blocker dito ng uh, Navy, kaya naman doon niya talaga pinapadaan. So far, Mukaba with eight points. Orgialis serves, nice receive. Dolor approaches and he checks the ball out. Grabe, taas ng talon, no? Yeah. Kitang-kita natin sa harap natin, Greg Dolor. With that off-the-block hit. And he has a nice way of twisting his hand mid-air, no? Oh, may konting delay. Nagagawa oh. kasi misa kung hindi ganun kataas yung talon mo, hindi mo magagawa yun. Eh. Yeah. There's the serve at Tamar. One-handed set to Boots. Straight to Greg. Oh, no. Boots Budin is grimacing in pain. We saw this. As well, in that Letran game earlier against Cap Stars, there was a guy who went down because of a sprained ankle. But is he holding on to his knee and not his ankle? It looks to be the ankle, no? Parang kanina tinutuho niya yung ankle niya. But we have talked about this as an issue for NU, no? They haven't been complete for the longest of time. It is a twist of the ankle, the left ankle by Boots or of Boots. Uh, mukhang naapakan niya doon, no? Yung left foot nito si Mukaba. This is after the knee injury to Oware Tamar. Nico Almendras, again, was in and out because of an emergency. And then, Choi Diao, by the way, is still not 100% because of another foot injury. He actually had an operation there. The good thing, though, for Enyo is the fact that they have a deep bench. And they have a guy named Jay Disquetado who's more than capable of being put on the court. But of course, for everybody watching, Let's all hope for the speedy recovery of our former finals MVP in Mikaelo Boots Budin. The issues continue to come in for Coach Dante Elinsonurin. There you go. He just called upon 
Itong si Jay Disquitado will check in for Boots. The guy coming in for NU was once upon a time the top scorer of the Spikers turf. But that was back when he played for a team that desperately needed him to score. It was Jay Discutado. This is his transition into being a part of a championship squad with a championship culture. He's had to develop the rest of his game, not just his attacking, in order to contribute for Coach Dante Elinsunurin. Escatado will now serve. And he makes an error. And of course, medyo malamig pa. We'll see Escatado. And that will send us to our first technical timeout in set number three. So watching the Spikers Turf Invitational Conference. We are yet to see action from Edward Camposano, but Big Senyos in all of his past three conferences here in the Spikers Turf, he has always gone home with a podium finish. Third place with NU in 2019, runner-up with Signal in 2022, and runner-up with AMC early this year. Now he is back in the quarterfinals with his new team at Kwento Nga Ni Duarte. Ito na rin daw yung team na nakikita niya, yung sarili niya na magtatagal. He feels very at home here, very welcomed, and in fact, he's taking the APSAT on December 11th for him to be eligible to work in the Navy for good. Back to you guys. There you go. There's the path for Edward Camposano. And that's perfect that the ring shared the information to us in this game because we actually have the perfect analyst to respond to it. Present <laughs> with us today is the former manager of AMC <laughs> Cotabato. It's Yos Yoson. Okay, Yos. So how was your experience with Edward Camposano? Well, Knowing Edward, that like a very reliable spiker din tong si Edward with also his uh, receive, palo, talaga very reliable yung alam, no? So far, hindi natin siya nakikita dito sa set na to kasi right. gumagaan na din talaga itong sila De La Vega, Dolor, but that block yeah. of NU against Marcelino finally na pahinto dito ng NU si Marcelino. But that was the previous play the point of the lore, and here's the approach of Christian Marcelino. It was Mukaba who got the rejection. And here's Obed with his ever so animated serve. It's long. When you saw his serve for the first time, what was your reaction? At first, no, uh, medyo a bit awkward. Yeah. yeah. Kung tutusin. Pero pagka nakita mo na siya, nakilala mo siya sa player, talaga makita mo, makaka-ace pa minsan yan eh. Yung release niya na yun na mababa. Oh, oh. But with this height and doing that serve, talagang factor din for uh, Mukaba. Even the way he spins the ball, patagilid. Mm -hmm. Point for NU. The deficit is two. 17 excellent sets for Owaru Tamar. Mataas na ba yan since we are in set three? Of course, it's a bit higher. It's really the ball distribution of si Ovaro Tamar. <laughs> Tough save for NU. Did you want to say something else about Owa or was that it? Okay, na, okay. Na. So there was the scramble. Peng Tagibolos, with all the length in the world, obviously could not get to the ball anymore. I'm kind of speechless on the hang time of the ball. It's been a long time to get to the ball in the net. Chased by Oa, not the best of receives. Cross-court hit. Ooh, <laughs> shout out to our staff there at the corner who had to avoid Christian Marcelino's dive. But a rare, rare error no, for uh, Jacqueline King. <laughs> 
Nakakaba rin, no? Kapag may kita mo may player na papunta, tumatak ba papunta sa'yo? Almendras. Off of the serve. There's the push by Joven de la Vega. I'm sensing a trend here. That when it comes to side outs, when it comes to Navy needing a point, they really go to Joven. And why not? No, kanina kita natin talagang nakarami ng punto si Joven de la Vega. They have a challenge on whether or not there was a block touch on that attempt by Joven. But sabi doon ni Disquitado, wala daw. Yeah. So who's hiding something from us? Is it Jade or is it Joven? Coach Dante Alensunurin is taking this time to talk to his players. Ayun, meron. Wala ba? I want to see it again. Ayo nga. So Jade was right. Wala. Kita natin ang sakto. Yeah, Hindi sorry. Hindi tumama dun sa daliri. Dito si Disquitado. I thought I saw something uh, different as well on, on the first look. But looking at it again, Jade was absolutely right. De La Vega got blocked. And it's a point for NU. Oh. Let's check that. Mukhang not over yung tawag dito oh, ng oh. Uh, first referee. Who's the arena announcer said, you know, I ball out, last touch, De La Vega. Kasi yung palo doon ni Joven, papalabas, uh, lumabas ng linya. Kaya lang nga, ang akala dito, ng, ang tawag dito ng uh, first referee ay hindi tumama sa kamay ng mga blockers itong NU. Do they have challenges left? Okay, so we're going to push through with the challenge. The referees had to clear it out, no? As to whether or not Coach Cecil did have a remaining challenge. Huh. This is the ball in, ball out angle. I thought the challenge was whether or not there was a block. Mukhang hindi nakita yun kasi ng uh, Navy, they were actually celebrating na nung tumawag ng uh, itong ating referee. So akala nila inside yung block but ang tinatawag yata ng referee was not over. Okay. It looks like they're che checking something else on the challenge computer. So we'll, we'll give this time now for our officials to make sure about the call. But again, this just tells you how important a single point is for this game. This is the battle for the last semi-final seat in our round-robin format for the top four teams alongside our Japanese visiting team, that's Maruichi Hyogo. So it's Perpetual, Signal, and Letran waiting and maybe most likely watching this matchup that they can scout as well. Either PGJC Navy or Santa Elena National University. There's see Coach Cecil, as mentioned by Doreen. They have been at it, competing in the quarterfinals, in the semifinals of the Spikers' third. The challenge they is haven't won a championship. Ball is out. 
They don't want to be the bridesmaid anymore. They want to be the bride. Or maybe, if, if you want to be correct about it, maybe it's about Coach Cecil. <laughs> because we're talking about brides and not grooms. I'm still trying to clarify that previous challenge. So, titignan natin yung ano. Okay, so we have to remember the fact that a part of the challenge system is the card racing of the assistant coach, right? And you have to be able to raise the right challenge card because that's what will challenge or that's what will follow. If they raise the ball in, ball out card, then we can't anymore talk about the block touch. That's right. It's either the talagang pag-raise ng right signage natin. It's either ball in, ball art out or the block touch. Efree still clearing things out. You know, another usual question about, you know, instances like this is the fact that is this going to affect a certain team? Meron bang manlalamig dyan? Will this create some sort of a momentum swing? Obviously, we have a long way to go in this match. Only in set three. Okay, so it's a point for NU. After everything. The official ruling, the ball went out off of Jovin de la Vega because they did not challenge the block touch. Okay. Then all deadlock in set three. De la Vega to answer back. After everything though, <laughs> ganun yung mangyayari. <laughs> A point for Jovin. So mukhang walang nalamig <laughs> on that break natin sa challenge with that Jovin de la Vega's off the block hit. Here's Peter Kiel. Straight to Nico. Letamar chases and sets to Jade. That's long. But he did get the check. And yes, indeed, there was a check. Okay, Joven de la Vega. 11 all. Penta Gibolos now doing the honors. Greg Dolor down the line, whistle blown. That's against NU. Almost a good dig there by Retamar. Kaya lang ha. Sumabit sa net ang blockers itong NU. Back and forth we go. Virtually a one point lead for Navy in this match. Retamar on to Jade. Kalinking puts it up. That's Joven. Straight to the back. Retamar back sets this time. Bit low there. But it is high enough for Orgales to still score. Orgales there with the help of the net. Medyo kinulang ng step dito si Suarez and De La Vega. Here's the youngster. Leo Ordiales, strong circling king with a nice receive. De La Vega, ball set back. But was there another net touch? Looks like it was on Obed Mokaba. After the block. It's now 13 serving 12. And for sure, Navy will continue to target Jade. Disquetado attacks. A chance for Navy. That's De La Vega challenging the defense of Almendras. Free ball. PGJC Navy. Kaling King on to Marcelino. That's long. Was there a check though? 
Does Coach Dante know about it? They did not. And now they will challenge. You know, sometimes I tend to wonder, Yos, would there ever be a statistic as to how many challenge, challenges we've had in a game? <laughs> Welcome to the quarterfinals. Yeah. It's a testament to the sense of urgency of the two teams. And again, in that same conversation, since the very start of this game, we felt a different type of energy on the court. Alam mo yung kapag nanonood or nagko-cover ka ng game where in there's a, a rivalry between the players, the teams. Would you say that that's how it feels? That's right. No, parang alam mo yung kanina, the tension, the pressure, talaga yung gusto ng players talaga makapuntos. Nice block. Kada puntos talaga hindi nila sasayangin. Kaya naman, pag may chance silang maka-challenge, talaga mag-challenge ang ating mga coaches. Rejection by NU as now Edward Camposano checks in for the first time to replace Christian Marcelino. Doreen did mention this is his new home and he should be a part of PGJC Navy for the years to come. Wow, what an answer by Greg Delore. That elevation of Greg Delore from that back row hip. Grabe, no? Talagang pag narinig mo yung palo, eh, dito, no? Yeah. Sa loob ng Paco Arena, lutong talaga. <laughs> Actually, to your point about Greg Delore, yes, he's animated in that athletic way. But I would also add that to the conversation. It's the sound of the ball when he hits it. It's so beautiful to hear. As we see another point from the side of Navy. No coverage there on the nice side game. of NU. That was Owen Suarez. Madalas gawin ng smaller players yun, no? Na ide-delay nila ng onto yung blocking nila. That's right. Medyo tawag dun, no? Sahod. Sahod. Sa Ball returned by NU. Here's Edward. Camposano pushes. Oh! -ho -ho -ho! Ball could not be put up by Mano Sumagi. And BGJC Navy, with its newest recruit of Edward Camposano, will be sending us to our second technical timeout. With me, he's always kind, he always respect me like that, so for me, I think he's the kindest. He always smile like that. Eat a lot uh, me, me first. <laughs> I eat a lot and uh, ordeales, yeah, ordeales. Like Filipino food, I like curry curry, yeah, curry curry. The most in the, in the canteen, I eat chicken, chicken and rice. First of all, nice hair to Ovid Bukaba. <laughs> Not sure what you call that hairstyle, but his hair nowadays looks good, even with some color, some flair at it. 16, 14. Ayan, ang pinakamatakaw sa NU program, Leo Ordiales with the point. And finally, no, a better reception from Disquitado. That really is a game changer for NU, though. Remember, uh, NU coming into this game is dead last in the league and receives. Of course, so may hirapan magawa ng set play itong si Retamar kung wala silang first ball. Counter, that's Greg Delore. No point as of yet. Open hit, recovery for Navy. Suarez will give it to Camposano, who's rejected. Uh, 
And that three-man block of NU. Talagang walang nadaanan doon si Camposano. The youngsters telling their kuya, no sir. He is, after all, an alumnus of NU after transferring from UE. And that is a service ace. He did say it's high risk, high reward for Obed Mukaba. That's right. Means that mukang akala mo mukang papalabas na yung service ito si Mukaba pero mukaba ba? Pagdating dito sa end line. Oh! Medyo nagkalakan doon <laughs> si Mukaba kung may short ball niya. The eh. absolute irony. 17 all. Owen Suarez. Full rotation now. Almendras with the first ball. Back set. Cordiales. That's long. Back and forth we go, Yos. It's a do or die for these two teams. That's why it's called the knockout phase in the quarterfinals. What a day for Philippine volleyball. Joust at the net. And no coverage there for NU. So that's it. It's a timeout for uh, Santa Elena. This is it. In. Guys. Huwag kayong magmamadali, lalo pagka tinakakadepensa. Taas mo lang yung bola. Importante naman yung ganung sitwasyon. Eh, wala eh. Gusto niya ganda na walang, wala, barang barang diskarte. Okay? Once up lang tayo, diskarte ka to spikers mo. Sige, paggalawin mo yung middle mo. Okay? And then, kailangan natin makastop ha. Makastop mamaya. Kaling sa serve. Ikaw naman magsiserve mamaya. Oh, sige, sige. Go, 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 go. Hold him blue. Would you say that the timeouts have been effective? After ba tumimeout ng isang coach, mupuntos yung team niya? Usually, no, dapat ganun. Okay. Ganun na mangyayari. But has it been the trend in this game? Yeah, so far, no, nakikita natin kada time out, oh, talaga nakakapuntos, nakakapuntos. Even kanina, itong Navy, nung medyo down sila, pa, pero nung nag-time out, dito si Coach Sess, talagang naka-response agad sila with every point. 19-17. There's the receive, a nice receive by Jade. Open hit. That's what happens when you get a good first ball. And tama ka nga, no, after that timeout. And Almendras with a little bit of a stare down. Nico doesn't really attack with utmost power, no? Just enough to get the point. As Dolor tried to score, battle at the net, nice return. The Tamar recalculates that specialty of the house for Jay Desquitado. And of course, that's what you like about Retamar. Talagang activating even uh, Disquitado on that backline hit. Well, there have been a lot of questions about his ability to receive, but there have been absolutely no questions about his ability to attack. Counter for Joven. That has been the case all day long. Grabe ang sagutan ng palo dito ng uh, NU at Navy. Joven de la Vega with that powerful cross-court hit. Hindi na yung nakontrol ng libero dito ng uh, NU. Kaposano serves straight to Jade. He's been receiving better. Open angle, pampawi ng NU. Ordialis with that sharp cross-court hit. They won Magisadon, young blogger, and uh, Navy. Look at him celebrate alongside his fellow youngster, Jay Disquitado. Now here's the veteran, Nico Almendras, deadlock at 20. First ball, Peter Kiel. Joven de la Vega down the line. Regalo para kay Peter. That ball goes straight to the crowd, but what a save by Jade! Ooh! That basically explains just how important this day is for the Spiker stir. What an effort play by Jay Disquitado. Unfortunately, they weren't able to get that ball across. 
But do we actually have a challenge here? Challenge? Yes, we do. It's a net touch challenge. How about that? And why not, no? Take that trick to challenge Valley mo nga naman. Baka sumabit. Yeah. Kindali rin, no? Ni Kiel on that regalo. But what an effort. Yeah. Of both teams, actually. They're young, sacrificing their body just to get that ball. And just so everybody knows, no, that's one of the purposes of the boards that we have. Not only do they, you know, they uh, allow the the ads to be there, you know, the, the tarpaulin, but they serve as protection as well to our players. Hindi naman ganun kasakit no kung tumama ka sa boards na yan. Yun nga lang, kapag may nakakabit na camera, medyo kakabahan ka ng onti. <laughs> Dahil mahal po ang challenge system natin. <laughs> Imagine if they actually get the point here. Pagbaba. Ooh, pagbaba. Oh. <laughs> the answer is no. Akala ko may habol pa. Sumabit yung uh, net. Oh, Kaya nakababa no? na yung bola. Okay. Nakababa na, 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 na yung bola. Alright, the ball went down first. Thank you for clearing that one up. Dahil muntik na doon si Kel. Kaya nga eh. Otherwise, that save would have been all so worth it for Jay Disquitado. <laughs> wow, what a set number three. We shall continue. It's Peter Kiel who will be serving. 21 serving 20. Which team will make it to the entourage of the semifinals? Ball up by Nico. Middle attack, Bang Tagibolos. And what a response there by NU. What a spike there by Tagibolos. 21 all. Back to square one. Tagibolos sends it through. Suarez back sets. Wow, tough coverage by Sapida. Here's Joven with the push. Chance ball. Retamar will open up. Disquitado puts it away. Grabe ang sagutan ng palo dito. And what a cross court hit, hit there by Disquitado. Kaya naman napatahog na ng timeout dito ang uh, Navy. Okay, Long way to go here, and again, as mentioned by Yos, or as affirmed by Yos, usually when one coach calls for time, the timeout tends to be effective. Nakakabalik, no? Kung sino man ang nasa ilalim. It's only a one-point deficit being faced by PGJC Navy. As Tagibolo serves just after scoring. Nice receive. Open up. Greg Delor. Celebrating after that point. And still the response of these players after those timeouts, no? Talagang nakakasagot sila agad. Yan ang gusto-gusto ng mga coaches natin dito. 22 all, Padon and Villanueva return. Pads Padon doing the honors from the service line. He approaches. And puts that ball in, received by Jade. Mukaba's attack was low. Set too low for uh, Mohamed Mukaba. And what a time for them. 
to commit an error on that attack. He had the same mistakes in set two, making errors late in that showing. There's the back set and the nice answer by Leo Ordiales. What a hang time there by Ordiales. Grab yun. Kita mo yung hang time na yun. And again, if you would pause the video, his apex on his jump is really high. At some point, you didn't even compare his height to the antenna. That's how high he went. 23 all. Pagyales serves. Ball straight to net. Padon to Villanueva. So far, this substitution of Navy has been very effective. With that, Villanueva combination play. Not the tallest of middle blockers. That's how you describe the middle blockers of PGJC Navy. Oh, he's an opposite spiker. Yeah. Villanueva, an opposite spiker. Ball received by Jade. He gets it back. There's the push. Kalinking to Camposano, who's rejected. Tied again. Good read there by the blockers of NU. Talagang Retamar and Obed Mukaba. Talagang medyo may hirapan ka lumusod dyan. Dahil na galing pa sa likod yung set dun. 24 all now. An extended set number three. Disquitado serves. There's Sapida from the middle. His attack sailed wide. Well, that's the middle blocker that you were talking about. Let's see, they'll have an answer here. Timeout, Coach Tess. This is the first extended set in this match, but it has been close from the very beginning. Let's see if Wilbert Sapida and company will be able to answer back. Down by one against NU Santa Elena. Jay Disquitado will now be serving. He subbed in because Butz Budin injured his left ankle earlier in this game. Jade serves straight to Jack. Good chance for Navy. Nice rejection. Recalculation. This time they go to the opposite. There was a check obtained by Marvin Villanueva. So far, Villanueva doing the damage for uh, Navy, finding the hands of the blocker of NU. Sapida will now be serving, tied at 25. We have been no strangers to long sets in the spiker stir. Retamar, open. That's Almendras, battle at the net. Is there a touch? Violation made by NU. And a net touch by Bukaba. Let's see it. There you go. A clear one at that. Set point, BGJC Navy. We have been trading leads here in this set. Sapida. Sends it in, straight to Sumagi. Retamar, on to Ordiales. Tied again. Banilia now checks in to serve for NU. Let's see what Jam Jam can do. One of the rookies of National University from its high school program. Ball up by Jacqueline King. Back set, there's the double sub working together. Nice dig, Almendras will push. A chance for Navy. Capusano gives it to Marvin. And that's long on the hit by Villanueva. And what 
the rally. <laughs> Grabe. And we continue to trade leads. Set point in you. Abanilia, that's in. Camposano rejected. Boy, what a coverage made. And the block. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a scramble to end the set. It's NU who will get set number three. Grabe exchanges ng save doon. Nakakala mo, babagsak na yung yeah. bola. It happened again. There's the pancake save. Ultimately, if Kalingking was near to the ball just for a bit, he might have continued. That's it for set three, 28-26. We're back inside the Paco Arena. We're in, it's a showdown between NU Santa Elena versus PGJC Navy. And boy, what a set number three that was. It was long because of a lot of challenges, but then it was also extended. Just sad news though for NU fans. Woods Within went down with an ankle injury. That's why JT Quetado has had to step in. A lot of great exchanges. We traded leads, especially late in the set. Navy had some great saves, and ultimately, they could not hang tight. Even with a double sub, being able to play well. There's the last sequence. Was able to get the crowd going here inside our venue. This is do or die for our two teams. You see the numbers. Even in attacks, blocks plus two for NU. Same goes for the service and also it's a plus two, but on the side of PGJC Navy in terms of errors. No strangers to that number for NU Santa Elena, but it's always good to see that the errors are not in double figures. Now we shall begin set number four in this very tight matchup between NU and Navy. This is the battle for the last slot in the semifinals to join Signal HD, Perpetual, and SNL Letran. We also have our Japanese team, Maruichi Hyogo, waiting to battle it out in our round robin of semifinals action beginning this Wednesday inside the Paco Arena. And for everybody's information, we will transfer to the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center come Friday before we proceed to the Phil Sports Arena 
for Saturday, Monday, and Tuesday. And then the finals will happen inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center on December 15. It's 2-0 to zero to begin the set in favor of Owen Suarez and company. He sends that ball straight to Nico Almendras. Orjales approaches, ball deflected. Kaling King puts it up. Suarez onto the open. Lefty push. And that's a point for Christian Marcelino. A good start for Navy. We did see something like this earlier in this game, but Enyo has been very persistent in pulling off comebacks. That's not a good sight, though. It's a usual challenge for Jay Disquitado to be obtaining a ton of serves from his opponents. We talked about that earlier, no? Yung uh, first ball talaga. Ito si Disquitado. Owen, this time goes to the other side, catching Nico Almendras. Not too ready there. Push at the net. Na irigalo. Pabalik kay Leo Ordiales. And a wasted opportunity there for uh, Navy. Chance ball na sana. Kaya lang nga. Medyo nag-over ang receive nila doon. Here's Nico Almendras. One serving four. That's long. It's good to see him back in the starting unit though, alongside Owen at Tamar. They haven't been subbed out in this game. We go back with Christian Marcelino. Targeting Jade. Better receive that time. But his hit went long and wide. Yos, talk to us about how tough it is mentally when you're being targeted by your opponents. First, so it's challenging. Talaga yun, no? it's, all a, it's all about the mindset. Kung paano mo lalabanan, kung paano mo receiving itong mga services na to. Lalo na kung alam mo ikaw yung target, talagang papakita mo na dapat kaya mong receiving yung mga ball ang binibigay sa'yo. It's make it or break it for Jay Disquitado has come a long way in his volleyball career. Same goes for this guy, Peng Tagibolos. Ahead of Choi Diao because of an injury, he's able to maximize his playing opportunity. Suarez on to Joven, bit of a scramble there. Owa now opens up to Jade. Ball set back. A chance ball will be given up. Here comes Navy. Suarez on to Greg Delore. Ball put up by Owa. And you now send it over to Ordiales. That's outside. Will they challenge though? We shall continue. What a lead for Navy. That's right, no? Pero kanina, medyo mataas din ang uh, lamang ng Navy. But nahabul sila doon ng Enyo on that third set. Here's Jade. Rejected at the net. This is the biggest lead that we've ever witnessed in this game, approaching a technical timeout. Here in this Pikers Turf Invitational Conference, Mix and Yos, I went over to the NU bench to check on Boots Budin. At sabi ni Coach Dick Pejo, initial assessment is that it is a left ankle sprain after Boots landed on Obed Mukaba's heel coming off of an attack in set three. Pinapahinga lang kanina, minamasahin ng konte, but Boots is still not able to walk without assistance for now. And he says that judging from the pain, he will most likely be missing the rest of this game. Back to you guys. Well, we did see his ankle. Na... Medyo namamagana, no? Here at the sideline. But did you see what he did at the last second? Chini-cheer niya yung team niya, of course. It's really more of what did he use? 
Ah, the, the roller. Hindi ba ano yun, ginagamit sa, sa legs? Ah, pwede sa legs, pwede sa back, for stretching purposes din. Well, I hope it doesn't smell. <laughs> <laughs> As uh, we just saw a point for NU off of the error made by Jovin de la Vega. So for Boots Budin, let's just hope for his speedy recovery, especially if NU advances, you would want him to play. After all, he is a finals MVP here in the Spikers' turf. They are jealous, sharp serve, but Jack made it look easy on his receive. Not the best of receives, though. Almendras over ball there, but somehow, some way, it still works for NU. Last touch by uh, Navy. Yeah, naman napunta doon ng puntos sa NU. And now, they're only down by three points. Yeah. He, he talked about this. They have the ability to storm their way back in. Orjales serves. He's been playing splendidly today. Nice serve. Suarez opens up. The lower was met at the net. This time, the other angle. That's a natural angle for Jovin de la Vega. Scramble. And Greg Delore went to the first referee. <laughs> <laughs> it's four straight points for NU after the technical timeout. They have a timeout. It's time for Coach Tess. Oh, dalawa na lang yung lamang alagaan na natin yan. Okay? Avoid error na tayo. Receive, receive. Nawala yung receive. Bigay mo na tayo ng first ball. Mula tayo dalawa pre, bigay na natin. Side out na, side out na, side out na. Tara na, tara na. Wala na yun, wala na yun. Ikugin na tayo agad. Okay, atake tayo. Go, go, go. Nibi! Nibi! There really is that tendency to overdo things, no? When you're trying to pull off a comeback. Obviously, you're happy if you're Navy building a good lead, but because of the composure of NU, here we are. It's only a two-point deficit. That's right. Medyo na-relax dito ang uh, Navy. Kaya naman, uh, Coach says, reminding them na ilesen yung error nila. Kasi tatlong puntos yung binigay nila. Here's the lower. That's another error this time on the attack. And from that huge lead, of Navy. Was it blocked? I think that was a uh, block touch. A 5 0 run by NU. So, mong kain na padon sa service area to si Ardialis. Wow. Make it a 6 0 run. We're tied again. Just like that. What an ace there. Targeting. Between uh, Kalinking. Kalinking and Marcelino. Orjales, another service ace. What a game for the youngster. Another miscommunication on the side of Navy. That time, no? De La Vega naman and Kalinking. It's a 7-0 run. Sabi ni Kalinking, hindi naman ako si Superman. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what they can do here in, the, in this next play. Orjales, that time around, the receive is made by Joven, but he was red at the net. Orjales with uh, 15 points already. 13 attacks and two service aces. And what a block there by uh, Disquitado. Look at that. Celebrate. Iba din yung block reach nung si Disquitado. Eh. Kahit hindi siya, compared to his teammates, hindi siya ganun katangkaran. Pero his elevation. Service error. He's only human after all as well. Itong si Leo Ordiales. That's after how many straight points we saw. Eight straight points from the NU side. And finally, a free point for a Navy. Can they recover here? Service received by Jade. Ooh, a miscue.
That's right, no? miscommunication on the side of Mukaba and uh, Retamar kasi ang uh, set doon ni Retamar ay B-quick. Yeah. But nakita ko, sumisignal kayo na si uh, Mukaba ng A-quick. So medyo lumagpas yung bola sa kanya. This time it's Jade, off speed. Well put up by Greg Delor. Chased by Suarez. Pushed by Greg. The other end, Disquitado with the tip. Tough dig, scramble. That ball now will go straight to the crowd. But what an effort there by Navy. On that uh, drop ball by uh, Disquitado. Kalinking. May harang lang talaga, no? Kaya hindi yes. na ay over doon ni uh, Marcelino. Kaya naman, no? On our semifinals, yeah. kung lilipat tayo ng venue. <laughs> well, that's no knock on the Paco Arena. This has been uh, the home for the longest time for the Spikers. We will definitely miss this. And we would thank everybody in charge in this venue. As now, we get to see another service ace, this time from Jane. Yes, it's Kitado so far, no? With six points. Four attacks, one block, and then service ace. Suarez tried to go for a one-two play. Counter by Nico. Enyu now has definitely controlled the momentum of this game. What a set there by Areta. Mara, hindi talaga, medyo hindi na nga nakabuelo doon. Si Almendra, as per nagawa niya pa rin to ng paraan. Finding the smaller blocker of uh, Navy. Service for Jade. Ball put up by Greg Delore. Met at the net. That ball goes out. It's a point for Navy. A badly needed point. Do they have enough left on their tacks? Delore serves. Straight to Jade. Oa. Back set toward Yales. What a back row hit there by Ardelia, Ardealis. No Leo Oringo, no problem for the high school player of NU. And a better reception there by uh, Disquitado. That's what you want to see from Jade. Just lives up to the challenge. Suarez opens up. Marcelino down the line. He's going to get that point. But it looks like Ora Tamar and company will challenge this. They were so sure that there wasn't any block touch. Okay. Now, we heard from Coach Cecil. She mentioned the errors, nagmamadali ang Navy. Pero ano naman ang may credit mo on the side of NU? They've been, ano, no? Talagang... Uh, steady yung kanilang receive kaya naman nakaka-attack sila nakaka-attack and also the blockings na pinapakita ng uh, NU as we take a look on that challenge no touch no block touch talaga so point pa rin for uh, NU as we take a look on uh, that replay and Mukaba with 13 points already 6 attacks 6 blocks and a service ace Huh. What happened? <laughs> Hola, Papito. <laughs> Lucky break there for uh, Mukaba. Mukaba. Yeah. Because his ball went straight to the net. It's been a very intense game. Here's Obit again. 15 11. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow. What a turnaround for Obed Mukaba. He will send us to our second technical timeout.
to remind everybody, at some point in the set, the score was 8-2 to two in favor of Navy. Now it's 16-11 to 11 in favor of NU. That means it has been a 14-3 to three run in favor of Santa Elena NU. And we just saw an ace from this guy, Obed Mukaba. Let's see if he can do it again. Kalinking with the first ball. Quick attack, that's low. And now, NU Santa Elena. Lamang ng anim. It seems like a lot of things have changed from the side of Navy after their lead was broken down. Mokaba will serve again. 17 11. Wow. It's an ace. That's three aces for Obed. 15 points already for uh, Obed Mokaba. With this ever so dynamic and animated serve, it was classified as neither a, a float serve nor a, what's the jump serve, the normal jump serve, na matulis. Um, normal jump serve na matulis. Jump serve? Oh, yun na yun. Uh, jump serve, yes. <laughs> so it's, it's neither a jump serve nor a float serve. I can't remember the term. As to how you described a dynamic serve like that. Alam ko sa'yo nanggaling yun eh. That's right. Ako naman yung nakakalimot ngayon. Sige, kaya mo yan, Yos. I'll give you 30 minutes to <laughs> remember it. As now we see a service error from the side of Navy. Hybrid serve. Hybrid, that's right. Ako pa rin sabi sa'yo. No? Oh, Ako naman nakakalimot ngayon. Can't forget about yeah. that. Here's Oura Tamar. What do you call that, sir? Jump float. Jump float. And it's effective. Point for NU. They have 20 points now in set number four. Timeout, PGJC Navy. Okay lang yun, guys. Balik tayo sa reset. Puro kayo nag-ano na, oh. Naiba na yung mukha ninyo. Okay lang yan. Kailangan natin mag-relax at first ball lang ngayon, no? Oh. Eh, bigyan natin ng isang magandang receive lang muna, oh. Receive lang muna natin, tapos patayin. Tapos buhay tayo ulit, ha? Kahit mo yan, oh. Pwede pa lang sa mga. Pwede receive lang tayo muna. Basic lang, basic lang, basic, basic. Dati, dati, dati. Sesan natin, maybe. Hirapan ulit. There's the... So that jump float, jump float by uh, Retamar, and then na irigalo, may peng tagibolo sa bola. We have Edward Camposano checking back in for Christian Marcelino. It's an eight-point advantage for Owa Retamar and company. Great to see him back in the starting lineup. He has two attack points, but a lot more excellent sets compared to that number. Oa will send it in. Hayrami on the back set. And a chance now for NU. Gapultos will give it up to Ordiales. On the other end, it's De La Vega sending that ball to Oa. Opposite angle. Nice running hit by Leo Ordiales. And still, Navy having a hard time getting a point. And good adjustment there by Ordiales. Medyo bitin yung set doon ng libero, pero nagawan pa rin niya yun ng paraan. What a game for Leo Ordiales, who started as an opposite spiker for coach Dante Linsunurin as Hayrami scores on the 1-2. Might I just say, as you get to see the replay of that point by Hayrami, Leo Ordiales actually has a tougher time in terms of being present in their practices. Because he has a high school schedule. Iba yung schedule ng mga klase niya compared to his teammates. But, mukhang walang problema doon, no? Sa connection. Yeah. Na pinapakita dito ni Ordiales. But, let's take a look on that. Back quick. That's Tagibolos. With the point, the transferee from Arellano University. 
22, serving 13 now. Kalingking got the first ball. Hairami back sets to Edward. That ball goes out, dug up by one of the NU players. <laughs> These are reserve players nila, no, at the bench. Here's Edward. Targeting Jade. Retamar goes back to Disquitado on the cross. Ball kept alive. Chance ball NU. Sumagi. Retamar. Taki Bolos puts it away. How about the sportsmanship by Peng? The blocker of uh, N uh, Navy, Peter Kiel. Legend late. Is there actually an unwritten rule in volleyball wherein you can't target the body of your opponent? May unwritten rule ba in volleyball na hindi mo ita target ang katawan ng kalaban mo pag gumatake ka ng malakas? Um, not necessarily, pero siyempre ang target mo talaga, no? Mai pala pag sa okay. floor. Okay. Yung bola para diretso punto sa agad kasi may chance pa eh kahit tumama yan sa ulo, sa mukha, sa dibdib. Pag naiangat yun ng defense, pwede pa yun maging uh, puntos ng kalaban. Error made here by NU on the approach from the opposite. So it's now 16 serving 23. PGJC Navy still fighting for a chance to be in the semifinals. Let bar on to Mokaba. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and why not? Kanina, no, nakikita talaga natin, hindi nakakuha ng block. Itong middle blocker ng uh, Navy kay Mokaba. Kaya naman, dun ulit, pinadaan dito ni Retamar. We have eight match points now for NU Santa Elena. To try to book a ticket to the semis. That's long on the serve by Leo Ordiales. Joven de la Vega and company still alive here. 17 24. Ball straight to Nico Almendras. The tomorrow opens up. This quitado will end things. What a comeback for National University. They were down. 2-8 to eight at the start of set number 4. But boy, ever since they were able to even things up, Bios, it felt like they sucked the light, the life out of PGJC Navy. That's right. Talagang medyo nakawala yung momentum doon itong uh, Navy ever since nga nung ang laki nung hinabol dito ng Enyo. Pero kaya din talaga doon sa ginawa ng Enyo na yun, no? talagang ang haba ng pinagtsagaan nilang uh, lamang na hinabol nila. That, on that set. And uh, eventually, it turned out to be the most lopsided set in this match. 25 to 17 in set four.
Welcome back to this Piker Surf Invitational Conference. Our semifinals cast is complete as the NU Nationals knock the Navy out in four sets here in this Piker Surf quarterfinals. And I'm here with the best player of the game, Leo Orjales. Leo, congratulations on the win. Pag usapan natin yung game na yon. Paano nyo napanatili yung composure, yung disciplina, especially after dropping that second set and losing Boots Budin in early in the third set? Um, ano po, uh... Nang bumalik lang agad kami sa sistema namin at uh, yun, nagka-momentum naka, naka po kami at uh, tuloy na yun. Okay. Leo, nakwento sa akin ng mga teammates mo na early this year ka lang sumama sa kanila mag-training pero judging your performance dito sa Spikers Turf, dito sa game na to, sobrang confident mo na, sobrang comfortable mo na with this team. Ano meron sa team na to na nakakapagpalabas ng ganong performance? Uh, ano kasi, uh, maganda kasi lagi akong pinupush na bawi lang uh, ma ng mga kuya ko at uh, yun, yun po. <laughs> Leo, sinong gusto mo pasalamatan? Uh, salamat po sa pamilya ko na lagi sumusuporta at uh, mga buong enyo community at saka yung mga coaches ko po. <laughs> Thank you and congratulations, Leo. And to the enyo Nationals, see you guys in the semifinals at excited kayo makita kung ano pang susunod yung gagawin. But for now, we send it over to you, Migs and Yas. That's what you have to love every time we have best player of the game interviews in volleyball. Everybody else gets involved. Actually, kung tutusin, kung sino pa yung nag-best players, parang siya yung nabibiktima eh, no? Oo, siya yung napag-iinitan. Alam mo, minsan nababatukan pa, nasasabunutan pa. Pero this time, no, pinupunasan ang powers. Ang gusto ko dun, yung si Jay Disquitado, yung pinamunas niya kay Leo Ordiales, pinunas niya rin sa sarili niya. Siguro parang mailipat yung powers niya, no, for the semifinals. Mailipat yung pasa. Na nakita naman natin, gumana kanina yung pasa nitong si Disquitado. As we take a look on that uh, fourth set statistics, like ang medyo nawala ang atake dito ng Navy with only five points compared to 11 points itong Santa Elena. And the blocks, the blocking of uh, NU, three points compared to two nitong Navy. And yun, naging factor talaga yung service aces nitong Santa Elena. Five big points and compared to one nitong Navy. And kahit yun nga, no, kahit medyo mas nag-commit ng mas maraming errors itong Santa Elena with 9 points and 6 points for Navy, talagang yung composure nila on that set, kahit naghahabol sila, nagawa nila ito ng paraan at manalo on that fourth set. So that's it. Congratulations to Enyo Santa Elena for booking the last ticket to the semifinals. It will be a round-robin format. So it's not just on Wednesday, nagkakaroon tayo ng semifinals. No? We have Signal, Enyo, Letran, and Perpetual getting ready to not only face each other, but Maruichi Yogo as well, our guest team from Japan. That will be the last day here inside the Paco Arena in Manila before we proceed to the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in the Phil Sports Arena. It has been a glorious day for Philippine Volleyball, and we thank you for joining us for Doreen Suaybagio and Julius Yos Yoson. My name is Mix Gomez. See you again on Wednesday for our 2023 Spiker Turf Invitational Conference Semifinals.